Many different feeder types are available for providing mineral and vitamin supplement to beef cattle. They can be homemade or they can be commercially purchased. They can be made out of multiple materials, for example, plastic, wood, or metal. However, in the case of metal, corrosion can be a concern. It's very important when you select a mineral feeder to make sure that it's going to protect the mineral and vitamin supplement from the weather. So typically we're going to want to have a covered top and also it's important to make sure that the animals are not going to be able to waste the mineral in the feeder that we use. In some situations, there may be price incentives to purchase mineral and vitamin supplements in bulk. In doing this, be sure to purchase only what will be used within three months. This is because vitamins can degrade or break down over time. It's also important to store the product in a dry place and to keep it away from pests who may tear open the bags and cause product losses. It's also important when it's exposed to weather to break up any hardened product to make sure that animals can adequately access the product. Product labels provide expected intake estimates for mineral and vitamin supplements, but track actual intake as well. For example, if a product label indicates that it should be consumed at a rate of 4 ounces per head per day, then for a herd of 100 head of cattle, the expected consumption rate for the entire herd is 400 ounces per day. Knowing that 4 ounces is equal to 1 quarter pound, we can then convert this to 25 pounds per day as the expected consumption rate of the product for the herd. If actual consumption is dramatically higher or lower than this, then management changes can be made accordingly. A mineral and vitamin supplement may be included as part of a grain-based supplement mix, or it may be provided as a separate supplement. In either case, it's important to ensure adequate feeder space for the number of animals to be fed. If cattle are under-consuming a mineral and vitamin supplement, then consider moving it closer to places where cattle congregate, such as near the water source or shade. Also consider modifying the product to make it more palatable. Do the opposite if the case is where cattle are over-consuming the product. Move it further away from areas where cattle congregate or increase the salt content of the product. A common mistake is to provide a salt source separate from a mineral and vitamin supplement. You should only provide one salt source and ensure that the complete mineral and vitamin supplement is included with this salt source. It is also important to not let mineral and vitamin supplement run out. If this occurs, cattle may not receive adequate nutrients per day. Another problem may be that they may overconsume when the trough is later filled.